Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. I am currently am getting rid of my last iron shovel. <laughs> and with that, our last actual piece of iron. I've used it all up and we are here in the desert A because of the sand. We need that for reasons that I will show you in about a minute or two. Uh, let's first just really break that thing and get as much sand as we can possibly take with us. And the second reason, the second reason is we have fishies now. So just in case, just in case that we mm, stumble over one or two kitty cats that are looking for a new home, we, we are prepared. We are so prepared. Oh, and it is getting night. Come on, shovel, break. Break, do your job. Thank you. Okay, first of all, doing the sleepy sleep. Ha, good morning. Good morning! Now, we have... Fishies, let's see. The last time we've been to the village, there have been at least two or three kitties. Right now, I do not hear them. Which is not a good sign. Because normally, you do hear them. Everywhere. Maybe they have been wandering a little bit. Hey, you! Oh my god, you're beautiful. You look just like... One of my cats. Come here. Now you have to be very careful. Cats are shy. And they run away if you get too close. But you can Ooh. just hold still and let them come to you. Don't move. Until she does this little begging noise. Beep. You're mine. Oh, I do so know what you will be named after. Oh, if I now can find a Siamese, that would be, that would be absolute perfection. Um, hmm. I want another one. <laughs> and I know there was at least one other one. Oh, look, it's a brown bunny. Ooh. We have five fish. This has to be possible. Yeah. There she blows. She's not a Siamese, but hey, it's another kitty. Okay, same procedure as... Don't get too close. Hey, she sees me. Nice, nice. Don't move, don't move. Oh no. Yes. Nice. And we have two fish left for breeding. That's so good. Okay, one other thing I want to do. We have is the bones. Oh, before we actually use the bones, the doggos are over there. Five squids. They are not really that useful, but I would like to grab their insects for coloring. Uh, definitely not priority number one. But better to have them than to need them, I guess. Yes, no. Oh, you're in the water. I'm so sorry. But you... Uh, um, Well, you're doing good. Don't drown, please. <laughs> now, towards the mesa and to the right. That is where we actually saw the doggies. And I hope we can at least tame two. I'm not sure how many bones they need. Um, probably as many as the kitties needed fish. I'm not sure. And we do not have, have more bones, so that's it. Um, there you go. Hi. Hello. Hello, Wolfie. Please be my friend. Yes. Ha! Oh, I, did. <laughs> I didn't want to feed you the, the meat. Not yet. Oh, you're my friend too. Oh, that's so good. How many more can we get? Probably three. Oh, maybe another one. Come. Come with me. Dang it. <laughs> We have three doggies. Oh, how good is that? Okay, we can actually breed them. Come on, make it the babies. You want to make it the baby? You don't? Hello? I know I fed two of you. But you already forget. Come on. Do it. 
Do it. I think they're trying. But I also think they're not very smart. Now that works. Bing. Now that that is taken care of. Actually, oh, not completely. You and you. Make the baby. Make the baby. It's a tiny one. Look at it. Oh God, you're so tiny. How are you so small? Whoop. Tiny. <laughs> Cute. What are you doing outside of the pen? Good boys. They were already, already growling, trying to take care of that. Now, um, we have the the pet stuff out of the way, which is good because we definitely we need dogs to defend ourselves and we need cats to take care of potential creepers and actually you will be coming with me precisely because of that and um guys main topic of this episode is well not the bamboo the bamboo is doing bamboo things it's just growing like crazy uh the sugarcane situation is something we need to address because i've been if um afk or not afk I've been grinding for at least an hour or two and this isn't really producing anything. We have about a stack of sugarcane, which is definitely not enough. We need way more and I've been practically harvesting that little bit of sugarcane. Here, almost a stack. Um, and whilst that stuff was regrowing, I've been down in the mines. And I've been digging up so much stuff. We do not have <laughs> a single bit of iron left. Um, I used everything that we had to dig out all of this. Now my first thought was, I need to get all the deep slate. This seems to be a deep slate node. Now I'm digging that up. Well, <laughs> um, what I didn't know was that deep slate, there's about as much deep slate on this um, height level as there is stone. So... <laughs> So much for that. Look at this. We have a half a double chest of deep slate. We have all those resources. All of those resources were in this in this bit of the cave and a few strip mining tunnels that I've been digging up. They are not that far actually. They are over there. Um they end over there. It's about 10 of those, I believe. And we have 34 diamonds that is so much now i kept this stuff down here on purpose so i could show you what is in in this chunk that i've been digging up and in the strip mine what amount of resources you can get out of stuff like that and now i actually want to take it with me so we can smelt that stuff up and get going with the project for today and you're sitting on the chest so i cannot well, I guess I do not need deep slate right now, eh? Now, we are going to craft redstone blocks out of the redstone just for storage reasons. We are going to craft block of lapis lazuli out of the lapis lazuli. Um, also for storage reasons. We are going to do that, 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 and that. For those of you who do not know, if you hold shift whilst dragging a stack of items along like this, you can split them into equally big um, mini stacks. And because every furnace, oh, the brick is done, woohoo, needs about eight pieces of coal for one stack of iron. This is very handy when it comes to portioning your coal. And we are going to use stacks of eight also for this and for that and for blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yes, that is exactly what I was, what I meant to say. That is, me, me good English. Be me. Going to store the gold here. And that is that. Now. What else do we need? It is still night. And I know something that I can craft in the meantime. Just a little bit of decoration. Because I need a little bit of decoration. It makes me happy. Being happy is important. Um... How do I hop up, 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 where? There. And. Yeah. 
there. Uh, where did the lantern go? Hello? Where? You're sitting on the bed. Oh, goody God. You can sit on the bed all day. That is absolutely fine with me. We need a little bit of flower pot action in here, I think. Yeah, definitely. And then we need flowers in the flower pot. Uh, um, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking hard. A uh, lantern is here. Boop. Good. Good thinking. Boop. And, uh, boop. And a lily of the ballet. And another tulip. And an oxide 80. Feels cozier right away. Up, 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 uh, what else do we do? We put the brick away and with all the sand that we've been gathering, I actually want to take care of the riverbed. I think today's the day. We build a bridge, we plant all the sugarcane along the sides and um, yeah, make this our, our extended sugarcane farm and whilst building, well, terraforming the river, we can also build a bridge. We have enough wood, this should be relatively easy. We need shovels, we need dirt, and we need to sleep. Good night, kitty. You wanna come with? Okay, you come with. Your creeper protection now. Yeah, you gotta, wanna come? No, don't, not in the flowers. Come on, come on. Mm. Wee. Do we have anything nasty? Probably there. Hi! You are shiny, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Golden pants. Those might actually come in handy at some point. I'm gonna keep those. And just put them in here. This actually has to... All the bamboo! <laughs> Such a nice sound. Oh, this is so awesome. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this sand with us. This tree has to go. Bye bye. Hmm. I'm gonna try something, guys, and I'm going to bring you back once it's done. Well, now this is a little bit annoying. Huh. Look guys, my idea was waterfall, river, and this river having direct access to all the water sources over there and over there. And I managed to do that just with my four buckets here in my hotbar and a little bit of time. But the problem is... It doesn't close over the um, complete surface, so I believe we have to cheese that a little bit. My idea was... What if we... Um, place some water sources just down here and see how far, it's, how far it spreads, if it is able to, to connect. That really doesn't do a lot, eh? Huh. Hmm. This is not that easy. Not that easy. I'm guessing that I will basically have to place down those earth noodles, um, dirt noodles. <laughs> um, maybe... Well, if I want it to close, if I want the surface to be an even closed water surface, then I guess I'll have to treat it like a... like I treat an endless water source. So... 
That would mean placing down two water sources with one space, free space in the middle. Hoping that this will close. Now, is this closed? Hmm. Oh, this could be a lot of work. Now, progress update, guys. Look at this. This took a long time. This took over an hour, actually. <laughs> oh, I've also placed all the sand. I'm not quite sure if you... If you look closely, you see that the water streams don't really point the right direction every time. So I'm not quite sure if I, uh, if this really is an even water source. But it looks even. It's water. It's done. And we even have fishies. So it, I think this river is doing what it's supposed to do. If there's fishies, life is good. What we, what else we can do? Um, Another thing we can do is actually grab a little bit of bone meal and see if we can um, make the riverbed a little bit more lightly. Ooh, that looks good. Look at this. Whee! Oh, this looks awesome. Woo! And I didn't have enough sand to um, get the the riverbed <laughs> all the way over here that just wasn't possible Oop, maybe like this that should be fine but we will definitely be able to plant a lot of sugarcane along the sides here and the last thing i want to do in this episode is actually build the bridge but first of all let's place all the sugarcane i really like this little waterfall I think I will decorate the um, the area around it with with stone and maybe mossy stone and stuff later on. For now, it is just what it is. And now, this huh, this is actually not that great. Maybe we can even the surface by placing some some additional water buckets that might be okay ah yeah if the kelp is growing then this is working and i'm actually i just don't want to deal with this anymore this took a long time and there's a cave somewhere around here okay now we'll grab the sugar cane we have 45 levels now. Guys, that is a bunch. That is a bunch. Mm, let's see how much we can plant. I will leave the, the area where I want the bridge to be um, relatively clean because I'm not sure if the sugar cane will be able to grow. Ooh, nice. Now, if this... If this lot of su sugarcane is growing, we might have enough to, to get started with the enchanting. That is possible. And I like the look. I really like the looks of this. And also I like the fact that there's fishies. You could even install some little um, pier where we can throw our fishing rod in. For the bridge, we will need a lot of spruce logs. We will not lead, uh, we will need a lot of spruce planks. We will also need a lot of slabs and a bunch of stairs. Maybe 40. That should be somewhat okay-ish. And last but not least, we need spruce fences of which we, I believe, have a few left in our spruce fence. Oh, that is good. We can also grab all the rest of this. That may be a crafting table just for on the go. Hmm. Hmm. Now. What was my plan? My plan what? Hmm. Are we doing this? 
two blocks wide or three blocks wide? I believe I will go for three blocks wide. So we can even cross with a horse without any problems. Uh, this might be... yeah. And now we have four. Which is not what we need. No, that is also not what we need. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you back with an update, guys. Looky, looky. This is the um, skeleton of the bridge. <laughs> I've used spruce logs and stripped them, except for the parts of the bridge that are in the water. Because then the logs look like they are wet and I quite like this effect. And we have, well, a slight incline. And over there, where the bridge gets even, whoop, let me get over here. I evened out all the ground here. So this whole, whole chest you see over there is full with dirt. <laughs> we now have a lot of dirt. And I believe now it is time to place all that stuff actually make the bridge. And the question I am asking myself is how will I manage parts like this? I believe like or so. Yeah, that might be good. Like this. I would like to um, mostly work with um, half slabs because those actually make the bridge spawn proof. And I will have lighting on this bridge, but for the most part I'm still happy if I can manage to spawn proof additional bits and bobs because you never know if the lighting is enough. Oh, let me sleep. Um, what are we doing here? Like this? No. Maybe don't build so fast. Then you might build the right stuff. <laughs> uh, ah, oh, now this is a little problem. Hmm. Oops. Totally intended to do that. <laughs> um, hmm. How does it look if I put this here? Probably a little bit dumb. Or maybe not. Maybe we can work with that. Ha! Huh. Difficult. But then we would have to rip this thingy out. And not that easy. Not that easy. Can we... Just put the support beams one level lower. Mm. I'm not sure how that looks from the outside, but I'm sure we will manage somehow. Uh, like this. Press leap. Mm -hmm. How does it look from the side? Uh, a little bit wonky. Mm. But I think I can live with that. I'll find some 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 solution for it later on um, to minimize the wonkiness. And almost done. Now we do not need these stairs here. Mm -hmm. That is pretty much what I wanted. And now we will use a defense post. Ha. Super. This is part one of the bridge. There is some bits and bobs missing still. Look, maybe if we frame the supporty beams like this, this might work. Hmm. I'm going to grab a few more fences. 
like this and like so okay mm -hmm. Oop. Eh. <laughs> nice Okay, I can I think I can work with that. That seems like looks like it was intended that way. <laughs> Kinda. Now another thing I wanted to do is create some sort of I, I'm not sure if arc arcways, whatever the right term is. I want to wait, 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 wait. I want to use the oak logs here. Um I will have to build myself up. Yep. Maybe like this, so we can still cross with the horse. Boom, boom, boom. Like this. And I would like to leave the texture of the oak wood just like it is. To create some some um some difference in structure. Now, mm -hmm. the idea for this is to frame them with trapdoors around here Oop. and then hang a lantern down in the middle. Not sure if I'm completely happy with this let me try something else i'm still not happy i'm so not happy with this mm, i'm going to try something else <laughs> yeah i think that is it looks a little bit round still has the um quote-unquote rough part in the middle um it works, I think. What do you guys think? Ooh, guys, look at this. I like it. I really do. Looks really framed and, 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 yeah, complete. I've also took a look at the um, options we have for the, for the ground, for the floor. For sort of path that I want to create between the bridge and our, our home. Maybe we can work with something like this. And even add some little bits and bobs out of wood and out of logs. Just to um, um, make the floor a little bit more Diverse, give it a little bit more texture. And maybe like this. Yes. And a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. And then, and then this looks good, I think. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Now. I would like to also find a solution for the border of our little wheat field. Mm, maybe not today. I might have to think about that. Not that important. Anyhow, really. Most important bit is that we got this done finally. And now, if on foot on, or if, if on a horse or whatever, we can just access this whole area by walking over a bridge. No swimming, no hopping, no nothing. Oh, and our sugar cane is, well, almost done. <laughs> Only growing three high. Why is that? I thought they were going for, for four. Maybe that's it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Now, how much do we... Ooh, two stacks. That is wonderful. And I bet you there's some loose ones lying around. 
lying around here. Okay, I'm gonna grab them and then we can see how much we have and if it's enough to create a book or bookshelves. Even though I'm pretty sure we'll have to wait for the next episode. <laughs> Two stacks and ten. I'm going to plant the remaining ten just to make it even. And the other ones we will transform into books and bookshelves in the next episode to get our enchanting setup done. Any hoozle, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave me a like if you did and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.